So this is my first attempt at a video diary. Um, uh, there's problems with the sound, there's problems with the picture. Um, I haven't had any time to edit it properly. Um, but this is a kind of like rough overview of what me and Matt have got up to in the first week of our travels around Peru. Um, and it starts off with us walking down the side of a very busy road. We're walking down the side of a road to try and get to Lima's premier food festival. And we're gonna see if we can cross the road. So we queued up for a long time to get in and um, Matt's just bought this um, cola. So what, what is this meant to taste of? Oh, it smells like iron brew. All natural flavouring. It tastes like iron brew, but like somehow even sweeter than iron brew. There's food everywhere and it's all being cooked fresh, so we are going to try as many different things as we can and I hope it's all going to be really nice, but you, you never know, it might not. So this is the, the Burger Rocket Love, Love Ladle. Ladle. <laughs> Still. What do you get? I feel like I'm a celebrity, everyone's sort of walking past the game. Ooh. Just a little bit of the, um, a little bit of the sauce. <laughs> so you're saying this sauce is spicy? Spicy sauce. Uh, I think you're pussy, mate. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh. It's like um, English mustard and wasabi. That's it. And like if the throat is like, you know when you just dirt down like a whole bunch of whiskey and you can't feel your throat? So that's exactly what it feels like. Yeah. My eyes are watering a bit, right? Yeah man, cool, potato. So what I've got is a leche de tigre, which uh, as far as my rudimental Spanish translates is the tiger's milk. Um, but what it is, is it's fish that's like stewed in water and then they add lime and other spices to it. So I basically got fishy water, salty, limey, and then there's like a firm fishy fish in there. A firm fishy fish. So Matt's got some um, ceviche, so that's like raw fish with like chilli and lime juice and onions and lovely stuff. And it's obviously really safe to eat from a street vendor when we're in the first week of our travels. <laughs> We're here at the end of an amazingly long queue that we've been in since the song was out and now it's not out anymore and we are hopefully going to have the best pork we've ever had because it's cost us two hours of our life. Get some sauces. Get all the sauces. Very nice mama. Take a little bite pork. <laughs> trying to make you feel good about it. I'm not that impressed. So we're here at this like little hidden restaurant. Okay, the sound here was like too bad to even use. So let me give you an overview and you can look at pictures of it. So here's the outside of a restaurant. This restaurant specializes in fish and what you do is you pick your fish, you buy the whole fish and then they prepare it in two ways. So we picked one way which was to have it cooked with onions and spices and another way was traditional ceviche. As you can see there's a really nice sweet looking pepper on top. There's like a red pepper on that ceviche. So I put half it in my mouth at once and it was not a sweet pepper. Oh. Right, well that's how they water the plants and keep everything clean in such a dry place. But they've decided to do it the day that it rains. After um, leaving like the, the grimy um, darkness of Lima, we're now in Ica, which is... Ica. It's of Lima, we're now in Ica. Ica. We're now in Ica. Now we are going to go have some adventures on the sand dunes.
some food that we can have and then we're going to go get on a coach which is going to take us to NASCAR. in Nazca, um, home of the Nazca Lines, the world's biggest art attack, and the best way to see the Nazca Lines is on a plane. So we are going to go jump on a plane and hopefully not throw up and go see the world famous Nazca Lines. Sat at Nazca So now we're about to get on a plane with Rail, and um, I've got these, so we'll see what they are like. Strong flavour to start with, strong flavour. Okay, so this is where I got interesting. So as we were flying around the plane, it was banking so that we could um, see the Nazca lines, which as you saw were really hard to see anyway, but hopefully you managed to see some of them. And every time it went around the bank, I could just feel like blood sort of like rushing out of my brain. And after a while, my arms just started to seize up. It was like they went all pins and needly and then I just kind of like lost all feeling and they kind of like tightened up on themselves to the point where I couldn't move my hand and my arm. So when we got down on the ground, they had to get a wheelchair for me because I could hardly walk. Um, and here's the hilarious result. But obviously I'm fine, my hands still work and I'm alive because what happened is in the past. In fact, even me recording this now is in the past. So I'm all fine. Uh, but just here's a record of me being pathetic um, in front of some Peruvians who were trying to reassure me that I was still a man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't actually open my hands right now. It's stuck. And if I move my arms, it really hurts. It's like I've got like no muscle. He's just a big wuss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, after that experience, um, we went out in NASCAR and we found a really nice bar to go to, which was a really nice way to end the day. And there was a gentleman with a guitar, which is normally a bad sign, but it turns out that when you stick some Germans, some British, some Peruvians, some Brazilians, and some Colombians in a bar, give them alcohol, and have a man with a guitar there, it's actually a really good night. That was uh, mine and Matt's first week through Peru. Um, not really quite sure what we're going to end up doing next week, but I'm sure we'll have lots of adventures. Ciao for now!